Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday. Sam is at appointment. Gabby and Sophie went to the barn without me to see Sophie's new horse. She's getting shoes on and they wanted to go without me. Gabby wanted to take Sophie by herself because I had a ton of things that I had to get done. I have a new grandbaby. Did I mention that? I have a new grandbaby and it is keeping me busy. She's a preemie, so she's they're stuck in the hospital for a little bit but super exciting, a fun time for me. I love this. I love getting to like do this whole baby thing. But anyway, they're at the barn, so I am completely alone. I'm alone. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, I kind of like, I need this time every once in a while. Like it's been, I've been a mom for 35, almost 36 years, and I rarely ever get time alone. Yeah, I was coming to get you. You ready to go in the house? Yeah, all right. <laughs> She's like, I'm ready. I love to see who takes over the over the house though. It's always these two. <laughs> They're always the ones. Tomorrow is Friday and my new baby goat, one of our new baby goats is arriving tomorrow. I cannot wait to introduce you. It's going to be exciting. It'll feel a little better around here, not so not so empty. I put water in Posey's pool for her and I put her in there and she loves water. And there's little baby Winston. Look at how huge he is, you guys. He's a huge goat. Like he's still just a tiny baby. He's like, what, five months old? He's the same age. Well, he's older than when we got our babies and he's so big. Yeah, he's really sweet. Come on, Posey, let's go. Come on. Come on. Get your jumping feet on. Good girl. <laughs> She's so good. She knows exactly where to go. There you go. <laughs> right to the house. You guys are probably thinking, oh, she just wants to go in the house and get out of the sun. But what she's actually thinking is, if I go fast enough, I can get to the dog food before she catches me. Come on. In you go. Do not run to the dog food. No. Oh, shoot, she beat me. I had to rescue the dog food from the pig. This is how big she is now. I can barely carry her. Oh, I need a leash. She doesn't or really like me carrying her though. Everyone is home now, and it's cold out. Yeah. The horses are finally back at the round bale. Will we keep a round bale even in the summer when there's hay? Maybe. Yeah, I agree. Maybe. All this grass is coming in so good. I love grass. The only part that doesn't have grass is where all the wood pile was. And it's underneath this big tree, so... Even Posey, Posey's heading in the chicken coop. You can't go in the chicken coop. You can't go in. The chicken coop. Yeah, yeah. Get. Can't go in. Can't go in. Neither can Ellie. No! <laughs> Stay out! Oh my gosh! Alright. So, do you guys know, I like, I hate our chicken coop right now because it just looks, I don't know, it's just two empty things. Oh, there's an egg. Okay, so Sam figured out what he's going to do to make the chicken coop nicer for me. Remember I said I wanted like a coop over here, something that I can put our babies in, so a brooder. So he yeah, came up with the b best plan. It's going to be a double decker. It's gonna be a double decker, you guys. So it's gonna be like this high is where the next level is gonna go. Okay. So, so the babies can go up here. Okay, so here and then so there'll be again. like a coop from here to the sky and then there'll be a coop from here down and it'll go out this big. So the reason why that's so good and so exciting to me is that it's a double decker brooder. So we can put like our turkey babies in one and then our chickens and our and our what are those and our and we can put our chicken and our guineas in the other ones i love the idea of it we can have double the babies in the winter and we can keep them separate so we can have like a few different kind of species or we could even put like some silkies in one of those for the winter and then collect their eggs and have like a silky rooster and just breed one pure breed which is something sophie wants to do so i'm super excited that would mean four coops inside this coop he got the wood for it yesterday. It's exciting. I want to change all this stuff. Yeah, we he put um, chicken wire, but I want to. Get he put chicken wood. wire just because that's what we had when he built that thing. So he's gonna get um, hardware cloth for the new chicken coop for the brooder. So he'll just get more and put it on there. But I love it. I'm so excited. 
I'm going in to take the eggs in. Then I'm coming right back out. Little Miss Posey thinks that she's going to get inside and get the dog food. So at night, we open this door. We should turn off the light. We open this door and we let all the chickens free range. Ellie, stop chasing the chickens. Everything, it's a lot going on right now, you guys, a lot. Sophie's got friends on the phone. We got the pig. The other thing that I was thinking, I wanna get just like a, a little pool, just like a little, not, not a very, not like a big pool, not an in-ground, not like just a small in, above ground, not even above ground, just like an in-text kind of pool. And I was thinking how cool would it be to put it right here private from the road, private from everywhere, and Sam could build a little deck coming out of there off that and surround it with like a little deck. And then we could use that as like a pool house. What do you think of that? It's a lot of work <laughs> for you. What do you think of it though? Good idea. I know, I love it. Good. Come on, Allie, get out of there. Ruby, is that Ruby over there? Yep. <laughs> it's just crazy town. Come on, little piggy. Yesterday there was like a big storm, but we didn't get any rain or anything here, but they kept saying like, there's this big weather pattern and it's gonna bring cold weather. We got like super, a lot of wind. The pig just follows me. She thinks she's Ellie now. Come on, Ellie. Oh, look, are you coming? Nope, see? She's like, no. Come on, come on. You can come in here. There's no animals that can hurt you in here. See, she won't come. She thought Everybody else is in here. But she won't come. Look, everybody goes in their own way. Ellie went. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, this video is kind of going to be all over the place right now. We were all busy all day doing specific things. Like we were all doing individual things. I was dealing with my new grandbaby and Sophie and Gabby and Sam was at appointments all day and Sophie and Gabby went to put shoes on the new horse and then Sam met them there, talked to the farrier. The farrier said, farrier said her feet look really good. She gave us a thumbs up on the feet. So it looks like we're gonna end up bringing another horse home. Somebody's grooming me. <laughs> and the goats can hear us down there. They're all screaming. That's Lola. All right, so Sophie, um, are we gonna get the horse? Yeah. Are we bringing her home? Yeah. When are we bringing her home? Today. No, not today. We could have brought her home today, but we decided it was just too much rushing around. So when are we gonna bring her home? No, I think we should bring her, today's Thursday, I think we should bring her home this weekend. Okay. You ready for it? Yeah. Where are we gonna put her? In this field. I say we, this field of wheels. I say we leave the gate there and bring the other horses and let them decide like we did with Honey, because it worked out so good watching the horses like. Well, we in should our, put her with the Willow, because Willow's a kind sweetheart. Storm's like, let it be me, let it be me. Willow is a kind sweetheart. So that's the plan, I think. I mean, I know we're bringing her home. We're probably going to get it. I don't know what day. I can just let them know whatever day we want to go. We're picking up our new baby goat tomorrow. So, and she's, and it's quite far. So we might not get it tomorrow on Friday, but uh, if not, we'll probably get it on Saturday. Storm, why are you trying to kill me? Your horse is trying to kill me, Gabby. He what? He's trying to scratch his head. Yeah, he's trying to scratch his head. Nobody understands me, he says. He wants to be with the new horse. We're probably gonna like introduce her slowly. We're gonna let her come home. We're gonna make all the videos, like her meeting the other horses and introducing them and stuff. But Sophie wants to do a specific TikTok type video, like a short video to inter like to show you guys her. So she's probably gonna do that first. It'll just be like a short video. You don't have to have TikTok to see it. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on like all the different social medias, but she has one that she just really wants to do. So I said, yeah, go ahead. So we'll probably do that this weekend when we get her and then we'll slowly start introducing you guys to her because I really hope you guys fall in love with her the way that we did. Sophie, when she was at the barn today, she was sending me all these pictures. No matter where she was in the barn, she like was outside. No matter where she was outside, 
the horse had her eyes on Sophie. And no matter what, like even when she went in the barn and she looked outside, the horse would turn her body so that she could have Sophie in her sights at all times. I just really think like she's so special. Anyways, we're just gonna lease her and we're gonna do a short time just to make sure that everything goes well because you never know what could happen. I'm paranoid. So we're just gonna lease her for a short time with the intention that we're gonna buy her as long as she stays good and everything stays good and Sophie and her work out really well, then we're gonna buy her. Like we don't wanna just lease her. We're leasing her knowing that we wanna buy her. Watch that pony. So uh, Honey chases the dogs. Ellie, come on. Ruby, go! She chases them to play with them. <laughs> Molly just ran into Ellie. She's chasing the dogs. <laughs> she chases them because she thinks they're like her size and she can play with them. Come on, Ellie. Let's go. Come on, Molly. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, it doesn't, she's not used to the pony. Everyone else gets it that she just chases them to play with her. Ruby, <laughs> she chased Ruby. I don't think Ruby's chased very often. Ruby threw a fit and jumped through the fence. Don't worry, she doesn't hurt dogs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I shaved her so that it wouldn't happen, but yeah, that's the second time she's been in the pool. <laughs> What do you mean? Why does she look like that? She's adorable. I've literally lost my pig. And the problem is that I don't remember if she was inside the fence. I think she was inside the fence. She came in the horse field with me. As long as she comes inside the fence, then it's okay. So that light bulb right there blew out. That light bulb in there blew out. I need some Sam to do some magic to make our barn nice and bright again. Ready? Yeah. Let's see if everybody knows where they have to go. Good girl. Yep, they all went, whoops, they all went where they had to go. Good girls, good girls. Hello. What'd you bring us? Oh, this is bug spray. You need to get better bug spray. Yeah, for the yeah, horses? They like get bug bites, other than little bugs like these. Yeah, the bugs are really bad right now. Them. Yeah. I just noticed that Honey has a couple of bug bites, so I'm definitely, I have. Honey has a little bit. Storm has a ton. because he has Does a he? Yeah. So you he just sprayed him? Me. That's why he's been annoying us? Because he's covered in bug bites? Well, annoying you. He doesn't do it to me. He just goes up to me. All right. Well, uh, we'll go. We'll go this weekend. So if he wants to go this. anyways for yeah, her new horse. Some of these little bugs, that's what I did. Because I sprayed it and I killed them with these. Oh. Like I sprayed it. Boom. Remember I said that the sea, remember I said that the yeah, bugs are really bad this year? Willow, but she wouldn't let me. She needs it. Storm hates bug spray too and he stayed still. Yeah, but Willow hates everything. Did you spray honey? Yeah. Did you spray Penny? They, it's, well, I sprayed her, but she ran away. Mm. Come on. Make sure that goes back she in my bag. bag. Come on. So uh, tomorrow we'll be introducing you guys. I don't know, Sam might want to go tomorrow and get Sophie's horse. And I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna work, but as soon as I start the camera in the morning, we'll have our new goat, and I'm really excited about it, so I can't wait to show you guys. You tell me right now, Dad's not gonna want to? Bring the horse over tomorrow he's, he's already gonna get a goat. He's already driving far to get a goat. <laughs> Come on, Ready? let's go. So the vlog's probably a little bit shorter than normal. It was a busy day, and you guys, we're getting a horse this weekend, so stay tuned, and I can't wait to share her with you guys i hope you guys like her if you don't like her then that's okay i understand she's not everybody's cup of tea but i can't wait to explain to you what i love about her and what her breed is because it's her breed that makes her so fun and super trendy like she's so super trendy can't wait but all seems right with the world now that there's chickens everywhere i hate when they're locked behind the behind the wall. We open the door every single night so that any that are outside of the fencing can go in and go to bed. Don't you know that you're